Well, my blog comes to you this month from probably one of the most famous venues in the world. And that would be because it holds a world record mirror and undoubtedly a world record common. And that is Euro Aqua in Hungary. Normally I'm coming to you from Frimley in my last two blogs. There's a bit of a change this month. Me and the boss of Ridge Monkey Paul, we've come down for a session and uh, things are looking really good. The lake fished well last week, did a 92 pounder. So um, we're really looking forward to the week that lies ahead. We're in a really good swim for this time of year and we've got different tactics. The normal tactics on this lake would be great big hook baits, you know, um, massive boilies. But given the time of year, we're quite late in the year. It's mid to late October our session. So we're gonna be fishing tiny little bits, bits of particle, small hook baits, things like that. And hopefully that will be the key to our success. Only time will tell. Well, I'm really excited. I'm gonna finish getting set up, get some rods out and I'll catch you later. You know, one thing that is clear to see at Euro Aqua, that they have gone to every single fine detail to make sure you have the best possible stay you can from clean showers, decent food, a lovely clubhouse to sit in, have a beer, you can like uh, socialize with the other anglers, the swims are clean, there's a fridge in the swim, there's every, everything you would want for a long stay in Europe. We're here for about 12 nights, so nearly two weeks, so you need all these things really. Obviously, I've been on waters like Oriana, where you're in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> no showers, and you're washing in the lake, so it's nice to come somewhere that's absolute luxury, and that's what this is. And while we're talking about luxury, don't expect this to be a, a feature length movie. This is me filming with my camera it's a blog it's not a great escape so some of the quality may not be that good but i'm going to do my best to show you what goes on in the next few weeks at euro aqua and i tell you what it makes the hairs stand up on the back of my neck and the thought of catching a 90 to 100 pounder i can't even begin to imagine what that would look like in net and hopefully in the next 12 nights, we're gonna get a chance to see. A lovely 61 pound cod. <sighs> 62 pound common. Absolutely beautiful unit. Our second, third 60 of the night. Literally had three bites, three 60s. A couple of 40s as well, and a baby catfish. Brilliant first night.
bigger than that. Oh. Yeah, 62. Where's your 63 pounder, Paul? And drink. <laughs> <laughs> Photographing fish in the water. Oh. oh well. It was a 63 pounder. Yeah, yeah. It was only the 62. Close. Am I okay? Yeah. I need to go to go to the You ready? You ready? Yeah. This is from that Siamese carp. Let's have a little look. This is from that Siamese carp. And if you thought bream was slimy, this is on a whole nother level. <laughs> Absolutely minging. That's the only one of them I want.
много пиш? Много. Стария. Кътнес. That's crazy. Там ще спора пахна. <laughs> Look at me, Paul. Look at me. Total white out this morning, fog everywhere. Paul's just got a bite on his middle rod and uh the rod nearly went in. <laughs> Proper vicious bite. Catch up in a minute. That's it. That's it. Well, this is a nice 34 pounder. We was just going to show you a 47, but like Paul's 60 earlier on in the week, <laughs> it escaped out my hands before I got a chance to show you it. But. Um, you have to photograph fish in the water with Mr. Rules. So, I'm gonna get this one back. He stayed very calm. Look at that, these are the fish that are gonna to grow to 100 pound in this lake. Just under 50 pounds this one. And we've had quite a lot of action. A couple of 50s, a 60. And uh, yeah, things are just getting better. We've got a week to go. We're just gonna keep building the swim. And hopefully, this one's granddad's gonna come and see us. See you later, mate. Check that out. Just under 66 pound, wouldn't it, Paul? 65 something, but a absolute unit, and it pulled my arms off. Um, you can see me mats disappearing behind me on the wind. <laughs> But at least it's the mat getting away this time and not the fish. Absolute beast this one. <laughs> Thank you my darling. We're back on a roll now. We've had a few fish. So hopefully they're just going to get bigger. What an absolute monster. <laughs> Fish number 35 for me and Paul, 49 pound, eight ounces. As soon as the bait goes in, the rods start going on. So, just got the rods back out. Gonna let her go and see if we can't catch another monster. Right, I'm just going to run you through the setup that I'm using here at Euro Aqua, and it's probably not as uh, 
beefed up as you think it's going to be for the size of the fish because a lot of the fishing is open water fishing so you're playing the fish out so let's talk through it I've got four foot of leadless leader on there then I'm onto a uni lead clip so I can drop the lead nice and easily a four ounce lead then I've got a long anti-tangle sleeve and the reason I've got a long one is it protects the hook link for when that lead slams down it when we're fishing a long way out it means that I'm not going to damage the hook link and the hook link itself is rock bottom in 25 pound and it's about 12 inches long nice and uh, a nice long hook link which is what I like when I'm fishing for these really big carp a size 4 beak point just like I use in the UK it's a super strong hook and it's definitely very sharp now I've got quite a long hair and the reason for that is these fish's mouths are huge some of them are like the tops of pint glasses so so if a fish a long hair it gives the hook plenty of room to drop down into that bottom lip and that's just a mulberry barrel wafter just sort of wafting around and we're using small food items a lot of the guys that come here are fishing very agricultural massive hooks strong line great big baits so because it's coming into the colder months and we know the fish are feeding on them smaller food items we've opted to fish smaller baits and so far it's doing really well okay i may have lost quite a bit of footage off my gopro so i thought i'd give you an update of what happened the first week well to be honest we was not expecting it to be as manic as it was me and paul on the way here said to each other you know we'll fish hard like a team if we've got an area going we both put rods into there we both want to catch big fish so we drove here and our target was 20 fish for the whole trip and that is we're here for like 13 nights so 20 fish was our target we've got here the first 36 hours i think we landed 15 fish and in that was the 93 which was incredible when i see that roll i will say i didn't actually think it was a 90 pounder it went into the net and i've seen a few 70 pounders over the years and of course my 88 four years ago but when it went in the net i thought it looked like a 75 pounder and then mitchell the guy that helps run the place he looked at it and he said no that's a 90 pounder i know that fish it was 88 pound a year ago you'd think these big fish in here are getting caught a lot but they're coming out about once a year some of them less anyway we've got it out a 93 pound on scales new pb unbelievable totally blown away and um yeah that sort of brought the first 48 hours to a close then we had a couple of quiet days then Paul goes and catches a 40 kilo fish, 88 pounds, an absolute unit. I actually thought it was bigger than the 90. It was so wide across its back, really beautiful carp. And mixed into these captures, uh, four or five 60 pounders, 62s. Then again, it's like you get a lull in the feeding and they back off. We reeled the rods in for half a day, went down the town, had a bit of a rest and um, come back got the rods back out had a few fish again this time I had a 65 pound 10 ounce common beautiful long fish but um, it's been an amazing week so week two began and uh, after the first week I think we was on about 44 fish for the first week so we'd surpassed what we expected by double which was brilliant I'd had a PB Paul had, had a PB the lake was quiet because it was a changeover day so most of the anglers that had done the week they had now gone and when I say there were some lovely guys on here we met some really nice guys from Poland and that and I'll put some footage on here of these guys catching carp I see a 96 pound common on the bank also see um, a 99 pound mirror on the bank like just incredible carp they don't look real they're just massive so we've gone into the second week everyone's gone and me and paul got out in the boat and we put in probably about 25 to 30 kilo of boiler crumb just all mashed up put it across the area and we hoped if there was any fish about that would keep them in the area for a few days probably about two hours went by and i started to see quite a lot of fizzing on the area paul's rod was the first rod to go and straight away he knew it was a big fish he said to me Dave this is a lump and um, it was stripping line from him mega battle and up rolls this massive common and I'll be honest with you I thought it was 80 pound but 
we weighed it and it was 72 pound really long fish stunning carp absolutely in mega condition in here as well so we're really pleased we're sorting it out and um, get it in the water we're just about to do some photos and my left hand rod goes I've ran over and uh, picked up the rod and immediately I knew I was in something special the weight on the rod was unbelievable I couldn't move it the fish just sat out there and um, even though the 93 the week before had fought well this I knew was just in a different league I just couldn't move it and after about five minutes I had it about 30 yards out and I actually kept thinking it was snagged on the bottom because I couldn't move it it would just sit in one spot and then start swimming again and I did say to Paul I think we've got something really special on here as it come up I will admit my legs turn to jelly <laughs> I've never seen a fish so big in my life and uh, I was panicking and I was saying Paul get the net under that fish he did a great job slipped that in uh, the fish into the net first time and uh, yeah <laughs> I was absolutely blown away I could not believe what I was looking at in the bottom of my net let's take a look at this Look at that! Look at it! It's a joke! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Yes! <laughs> Hundred and one pounds. <laughs> Hundred and one. Light on? Yeah. <sighs> 101 pounds. <laughs> My first <laughs> treble. Time. <laughs> Crazy. <sighs> no, it's great over there. A 101 pound mirror you know I've been fishing for 40 years for carp nearly and um, never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd catch a 93 pounder and it was off the scale to catch a 101 pounder but um, I did see it on the way here I was driving and I was thinking you know we're going somewhere that contains at least five or six 100 pound fish and if I've got a bait in the water I've got a chance and uh, you know what they say visualize it and it'll happen and I did see it happening and uh, I'm still in shock still in shock me and Paul sat there last night having a few beers and I just kept saying to Paul do you know what I can't believe it I can't believe it <laughs> crazy but anyway getting emotional because I'm absolutely blown away by this week but we've got the rods back out we're gonna reel in a little while go down the local town, have a meal, come back this evening, chill out and uh, proper get back on it tomorrow. We've got four, about four or five days left. We'd like to try and catch a massive common. We've had two really big mirrors and some really decent commons. So let's see if uh, we can pull it out of the bag. If not, obviously I'm going home happy, but they're here. So while we're here, let's try and catch one. with a 58 pounder part of this morning's manic 40 minutes and uh, we're going to show you what we've both got hold of here Amazing. well done boys
bottle of a nice 46 pound common. Of course we're using to photograph anything under 50 pound, <laughs> which I'm disgusted with. But been here too many times, isn't it? <laughs> so back goes a lovely 46 pound common. Joke. And they are also two pictures. Massive what? common. Yeah. Massive mirror. Yeah. <laughs> one after another. Paul's just lost one. It's absolutely going off in front of us. Hallelujah. Look at this big thing. Big one. Yes, look at that. New PB common. 97 pounds. <laughs> amazing, absolutely amazing. Beast of a car. Oh, you can't hold them up for long because they're so big. Look at the whip for the thing. This has been the trip of a lifetime. I don't think I'll ever repeat it again. 390s in one week. <sighs> Crazy. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Ready? Right, yeah. We say go. Yes! Give it! Hey! Ah, love it. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Oh. That's it! Well done. <laughs> yes. Well, 67 pounds. And it actually feels like a baby to that common. This was part of my double take. While well, I was just about to photograph this fish, the other rod's gone, they've got a really pretty 45. So I'm gonna get this one back, 67 pound. 54, <laughs> that's the other one. The other one was 54. And um, I'm gonna get this one back. And I'm getting pissed. <laughs> Shall I let go? Yeah. Go on, girl. Scales on it. Still here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fifty-four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a few key elements I think to our success this week one of them was not using big food items you know coming into the colder weather and you can see autumn is in full bloom behind us they're getting much chillier days than they're used to it can be 40 odd degrees here in the summer so six or seven degrees is very cold for them and um, when you break your food items down it makes them a lot more digestible so when you're using your boilers just put them through a crusher crush them up and when the fish are eating them it makes it a lot easier for them to digest it then you add into that other small food items like hemp and things like that and you've got a winning recipe the autumn they've not quite shut down they're looking to feed heavy but in my opinion they're not looking to feed heavy on big food items so we had all that going for us the weather has been spot on 
everything's aligned and uh, yeah, we came here at the right time of the year. I know lads that have done very well in May and um, early year here, but midsummer it's shut because of the heat and they just have oxygen going. But yeah, sometimes you get it right. Well, check that out, 85 pound, eight ounces on the last day. <laughs> We've had a few fish this morning, few losses. <laughs> Look at this thing, 85 pound, ah, absolute Euro Aqua Monster. <laughs> Huge beast. pound and this fish is probably the hardest fighting fish I've had this week absolutely rucked and um, probably had it on for a good 15 minutes unbelievable last day well it's been an absolute mental morning we've had several fish we have an 85 a 60 a 53 and uh, people keep saying to me, how are you ever going to beat that? I'm not really bothered how I ever beat it, but... <laughs> talk about bait at Euroaqua. So why we've been here, we've bought particle from um, Euroaqua. They sell it here, they sell boilies, particle, and at the right times of the year when it's colder, they will do maggots. Um, I've used mainline hook baits, mainly the mulberries. I've also had a f quite a few fish on the quads. So I had the 100 pounder on a quad with six maggots sticking off the back of it. So a tiny little bait on quite a big hook, a size four beak point. And uh, you do use quite a lot of bait. It's very expensive. The lake to book is expensive, but it's a holiday of a lifetime. It's five star carp fishing. I've been calling it big game carp fishing because the carp are just bloody massive. But yeah, it is an expensive trip, but it's a trip for a lifetime with the chance of not only catching a massive carp, but catching the biggest carp in the world lives in this lake. Along with several others that are a hundred pound, it's ridiculous, so. I hope that's given you a good insight.
I've just got back from getting the van and it's gone off, pulled, lost one on a snag and looks like a 40 pounder easily in there. So come on, one last, that's fish number 75. One last good one. Well, it's the last morning and um, I put a rod behind the island last night, which I've baited all week with boilers. Had a few small ones off here. It's gone this morning and I've had an 85-12. Just to round off what's been probably the most unbelievable session of my life and poles. We've had 76 fish, six over 85 pound, 70s, 60s, 50s, it's been incredible. Her 12 ounces, Oy! and she's keen to go back. <laughs> Look at the size of the thing. <laughs> this is why you come Euro Aqua because it has got the biggest fish in the world. Mirrors, commons, easy girl. Let's get them back. <laughs>